I made an inventory system for my decorations. It took a while, it took longer than I would have wanted it to take, but it's finally done and I can show it to you and I'll show you what steps I took to create it. You know, I've never had to make an inventory before and I didn't think I'd need to for this game either, but this old system of running back and forth to the store to buy something and then run and go place it and then go buy something and then go run and place it, especially when it's like fences or something which you want to buy in bulk and just place all of them, you know, it got real tedious real fast. I had some plans of doing a Minecraft type thing with the inventory, but I prototyped it a little bit and my game is not Minecraft. Uh, that that inventory doesn't make sense in my game, so I, I totally scrapped that idea And also it looked really complicated. I started with a tool wheel instead Made some ugly circle gradient textures for it added some pop-up animations spun it around a little bit Real nice, but I decided to make it less ugly and make slices instead of uh, circles and then I also added animations to those slices and sound effects Oh, I also made the planting seeds mode into a tool called the planter, which is really just a shovel. Just like I made with the editing mode a couple of weeks ago, I changed the editing mode from its separate mode into a tool. I did the same thing to the planting seeds, I don't even know what to call it, the planting seeds mode. I made the same thing with that one, I made it into a tool. So instead of having like an edit mode, a planting mode and a tool mode with three different tools that do different things in the tool mode. I instead just made everything tools and put everything in one tool wheel. And after I made that tool wheel, I wanted a little pop-up preview menu for the seeds in the planting tool mode. I made some prototype mock-ups, but I ended up going with the same style as the tool wheel for, you know, consistency and it looked good. As usual, animations, sound effects, and you can now see the upcoming seeds and the last seed when you scroll through the seeds. And of course, if you don't have any of that particular seed in your inventory, it's not gonna show up in the preview. And if you don't have any seeds at all, if you empty your inventory of seeds, it'll automatically switch back to the chopper tool and you will not be able to select the planter tool until you've picked up another seed. So after I finished this planter, I thought, okay, great. I can just copy paste this code that I used for the seeds and the planter and just implement the same thing to the edit mode and the decorations instead of the seeds. It is not that simple. It is not that simple. I had to find that out the hard way. I wrestled with this code for a week before I had something that was somewhat playable, you know? I made this purchase pop-up, so now when you press to buy a decoration, I take an enum of the decoration and add it to a dictionary in your inventory script along with an integer of how many Blah, 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 blah. You don't care about that? If you do care about that, nerdy shit, join the Discord, I'll tell you all about it. But basically I just had a lot of problems, especially with scrolling through the preview for the decorations. I couldn't copy the seed planting system, because the seeds are not the same as the decorations, because I only have like seven seeds and I'm not gonna add anymore. And the decorations are already twice as many as the seeds and I'm gonna add even more decorations in the future. So yeah, I, I struggled a bit with that. But you know, through, through hard work, dedication, uh, perseverance and, uh, well, procrastination, I finally came through victorious through this. I implemented everything and everything works exactly as it should work. You can now buy several items and place them all without having to run back and forth like you did before. You can scroll through your items in your inventory and you can put away the item that you're currently placing to pick up the item that you're looking at instead. And there's a new button that says store, which does not mean go to the store, it means store the current item that I'm looking at in my inventory. And all of it just works. Ooh. It's not, I'm not kidding. Now I have about four weeks left uh, until this game should be finished. And I still have like several other NPCs I want to add. I have a Glade rating system I want to add. I'll talk more about that in the next video. And some more environmental details and dialogue and quests and stuff. So I think I'm gonna stop making this video and go and work on those things instead. But it's okay, I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Will I? Yeah.